Hello there, my name is uh, Mikkel and today for the first time in like months I am back with um, GTA Vice City Stories but I'm not alone which is quite unusual not for my channel but for this let's play I'm here with um, my good friend Mr. Rollo Hello um, I'll be quite honest with you guys this game can be quite frustrating and that's partially the reason why I haven't been playing it for a long time the PS2 controls in this is just fucking shitty. Um, I can't wait to be doing the PC missions. But you're not here to hear me complain. Um, I am back and we are doing some Rennie missions. So um, let's just get right into it. Alright, so I've been looking around on the internet. And... Um uh, and I, I stumbled upon some interesting God, God, website. God, this is boring, mm -hmm. um, terrible. I'm and uh, I think uh, oh, during this episode it would be interesting not only to terrible. watch you do uh, these Randy. missions. I'm talking right through a cutscene. I'm really rude. Darling, yeah, I was about to cut you off there, but it's okay. Uncut cocaine. Go on trees. What's Maybe that? In your town, but not in mine. Okay, then why do you keep calling me over here? Oh. Look, I'm in this to make money for that my brother. The guy in the background, is that the one from Vice waste. City? Man, you keep talking. Darling, that is beautiful. One day, I will make a film like that. Is it dope? Two brothers. <laughs> one is a dog. The other, no. a librarian. Oh. Love blossoms between a man. Who is it then? And a pig. <sighs> Three swans. Die. It looks like it. Genius. Uh, whatever you say, but in you the meantime, me, I've you? got a business to run. No, I've got to make I'm some money. Trying. Oh, darling, wait. If it's money you need, Sorry. maybe you can breathe <laughs> some life into this bloody fucking mess. Sure. Somebody burn the script. Let's make art, people. Yes, let's make art. Okay, so if, as a service for the people watching, I'm not talking over the uh, cutscenes normally. So shut the fuck up, yeah, bitch. Yeah, I, I, I don't do that in my videos either, but I'm not. You there? Yeah, right, I said a lot. There. Yeah, we... man. No, no, no. Uh, you said you were not talking in your cutscenes, but you were not talking over the entire playthrough, so. Yeah, exactly. That's the point of the joke. Hold on, yeah. I'm just gonna put my microphone in a used coffee cup. Oh, that works. That works. Man, you should see the setup I have here. I have a u I have a coffee cup, and I uh, put my microphone in it. It works. No, use the I don't. Oh that. shit! Oh shit! How does this work? No! 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 <laughs> Good job. At least this guy can swim. Yeah. This was Spice City, you would have been screwed. Yeah. Man, whoa, shit, All man. Right. This thing steers like. I don't know. So I found this list of um, seven questions interesting people always ask in conversations. Now, in attempt of being a more interesting person, especially as a guest on your uh, little playthrough, talking to your through your cutscenes and all, I think it would be nice to run through these seven questions interesting people always ask in conversations and see if they actually work. So, yes. uh, I'm going to uh, have a conversation with you while you do what you do and see if it actually makes me interesting. All right. So. Um, there's actually, before before we get to the seven questions, there's uh, three uh, basic uh, principles to apply in, in a conversation in which you would like to be interesting. Say, for example, at a very important networking situation or maybe a date. Yes. So, number one. Know when you're boring. Um, well, I'm just summarizing basically what it says here. Probably paraphrasing here and there. The point is to be brief and positive. So being brief is not to 
drag a point on too long. I mean, uh, you want to make your point quickly and not take too much time to uh, make it because otherwise people will think you're taking too long to make your point and they will think you're boring and What's you don't want to do that uh, to be brief and also to be positive one must not fall into a deep depression during this uh, conversation it would be uh, I think it would be quite upsetting to be on a date and suddenly the person starts to talk about all oh, negative things in life and just bursts into tears and then yeah. gets uh, sad and starts asking for tissues all because all this person because was not obeying the rule to be positive. Just as you said, all because. He said all because. Really? Yeah. Man, it's the Matrix, I'm telling you. We live in a, in a stimulated... You know... I actually have a big theory on this. I think we are living in a in a computer simulation, and I have proof. You know how in GTA, uh, especially I've noticed this a lot in GTA San Andreas, where uh, sometimes you're looking for a rare car, and it just doesn't spawn. But then by luck, at some point, after hours of searching, it spawns, and all of a sudden, when you're driving it, it spawns everywhere. Well, that there is a reason for that. Yeah, what's that? In uh, GTA, uh, for some reason, no GTA games they're programmed in a way that if you drive a special kind of vehicle, like say if you're driving a SUV, SUVs are more prone to spawning. In um, exactly, and uh, this and that's just the way they're programmed. It's not uh, by coincidence. No, exactly, and that's my point. This is for me. This is evidence that we're living in a computer uh, simulation, or at least in a scripted uh, environment like GTA games, as that constantly happens to me. Like every time something happens to me, something that doesn't happen to a person every day, it, it's, it always happens to someone around me, or there's always coincidences like that. For example, me just saying the same thing that was said in your game. Well. I have I've had many instances where, like let's say people have mentioned a word or something or a term that I have never ever fucking heard before, but after they've used that term or word, suddenly I see it every fucking where. Like exactly, and that reason. is my point. This is why I think that we live in a confusing reality. And you know what else? I think it's trying to tell me something because, I kid you not, this is not exaggerated. This is actually me noticing shit happening to me currently. On Monday, I was in my parents' garden, right? Yes. And this bird shit fell out of the sky, and it landed right. It landed right next to my foot, and it was this really gooey brown, whitish crap, literally. I and uh, it. I didn't want to start this. Oh. Well, good luck with that. Carry on. It it nearly missed my foot, and not not a spat hit me. And I, I felt really lucky that time. Now, that was Monday. And today it's actually uh, Thursday while we're recording this. Is it? Yes, yeah, Thursday. Um, now, on Wednesday, which is yesterday, it happened again. I was walking, and this time it landed right between my feet while I was walking. And it still didn't hit me. Not, not a single splatter. Now... Today, I was driving in the car with both windows open and um, this flock of seagulls flew over the car and shed all over it. I had my arm leaning on the open window and again, not a spat hit me when my whole windshield was filled with bird crap. <laughs> Explain that three times in one week and I shit you not, it's really happening to me right You're, now. Yeah, you shit me not, the birds shit you not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> they keep aiming for me, but they keep missing. What is this? What is the Matrix trying to tell me? It's trying to say that everybody except you is full of shit, I guess. Nah, I'm pretty sure that I'm full of shit as well. No except way. for this story, though. Maybe you're already so sated with shit that you cannot have more shit on you, and that's why the birds can't shit on you. Maybe I have some... some you might be right. Maybe my shit immune system is so big that I have some sort of 
anti-shit force field around me. <laughs> All right. Um, well, how about we get into this cutscene without talking? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry for your. All right. Sorry. No, it's okay. Homes on the range. How the hell? The cutscene's not playing yet. Ah, Vic. I hope you play golf. Sure. Uh, I've played a round or two. <laughs> I play around all the time, but don't tell my wife. <laughs> Vic, I find the way a man plays golf says much about him. Really? See, si. for instance, I trusted Jesus over there, yet he betrayed me. <laughs> I should have known better. He's a terrible golfer. Let's see if I like the way you play, huh? Then maybe we do business. I want to know who waxed his arms because his arms, his arm hairs look like shit. <laughs> and by the way, that was Gonzalez. Um, he's in Vice City uh, as well. Yeah, he uh, needs the end of a chainsaw there, doesn't he? Spoiler. Man. Sorry, sorry. No, he doesn't. He doesn't meet the end of it. He, he he meets the end of a chainsaw, but it's just for a meeting. He doesn't get killed by it. He just. Uh, bargains with it. <clears throat> Man. Muy bien. Muy bien. Anyway, on to the next uh, basic principle of... Uh, I have a deal a coming up very soon, Vic. Having a good conversation. Uh, number two. Be curious. Um... As uh, co-founder of uh, Red Power, co-founder of Wild Creation says, curiosity drives interest. What this? What does this person think? What makes him tick? How does she do that? What does he want to happen? To have happen? How does she view the world? And Your people with humility understand. To my colonel's attempt to bring greater democracy to the Latin world. Th that they don't have all the answers. And that each person they meet, each experience has something to teach them. Hmm. So be curious. What am I thinking? Whoa. Also, a, b a big important part of that is to be interesting, in nice. interested as well. Um, and uh, tell a good story or two, like the one from my bird crap. I They'd think like that's to a good story. trade arms and munitions for some of our yayo. Yeah. I think that's a good story to tell at dates. Yeah. Or maybe when I first meet a girl at a club, I will be like, hey, you know what I think the computer simulation we're living in is trying to tell me? Watch out for bird crap. Anyway, let's get to it. Seven questions that lead to great conversations. And you know what you should do? You should put that in the title of this video. Maybe you can get involved, huh? It's clickbait. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> people love lists I know I do yeah number one so here's the thing and like let's uh, let's let's pretend that we're in a in a station which which obviously we aren't but let's pretend what's your story um, what's my story well played Vic thanks yeah. regard this as a down payment um, on your services I'll be in touch. I was born in 1996. Man, did they just hit that old man with the, the golf cart? Yeah. Poor, poor guy. Sorry, go on. Um, I was born in 1996 in uh, Denmark. Um, really? Yeah, in a town called Horsens. N no way. <laughs> this is weird. No, I'm being, I'm being interested. Yeah. Um, and um, it was on a Wednesday. It was a rainy day. How do you know that? My mom told me. Okay, this is not really a story. Um, um, during my entire life, I've lived probably uh, ten different places, gone to um, nine different schools. Um, wow, that's a high number. Met some um, some good people, some assholes in between, you know. Well, I'm sorry you find me an asshole. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, used to it. Yeah. 
So, what was the highlight of your day or week? Um, the highlight of my week? Oh, actually, I haven't even told you that. Um, I finally found an apartment, so I'm going to move very soon. Nice. Hey, nice that's that's it. Um, I'm gonna move there with a friend. Uh, nice. On the 16th of um, of um, June. Uh, that's pretty soon. That's in like two weeks from today. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna be very busy. I love how the first nice. four numbers of my money is one, two, three, four. All right, back to a more shallow question. What is one of your most defining moments in life? Hmm. There's a lot of moments in my life that define me. Um. That is not what I asked. Pay attention. Bitch. If you keep talking hey. like this. I'm gonna think that you're a shrink. Shrink? I'm having a conversation here and it's supposed to be an interesting conversation. Okay, well, um, ask the question again. What is one of your most defining moments in life? Yeah, defining moments in life. So with that and you mean I'm, that that I'm moment defined who I am today. Is that what you mean? Well, let's let's read the explanation. This is another great question that invites the speaker to share on a deeper level, which builds momentum and report quicker. Obviously, a few casual questions before this one helps set the mood for hearing about a profound moment or transition in that person's life. All right. You know what? We'll get back to you right after the cutscene. Exactly. <laughs> I keep holding you up. <laughs> oh shit, not this mission. It's so fucking difficult. Purple haze. Yeah, yeah man. Ah, oh, Vic, my friend. Of a small side deal requiring a sensitive touch. Sensitive? Let's just say I'd rather my boss didn't find out about this. <laughs> or my men, for that matter. Let me guess. You've cut your colonel's coke to make a side profit. Shh, Vic, please. This is, after all, the land of opportunity. I don't care who you rip off, Gonzalez. As long as it's not me. Bueno. The drugs are at Ocean Beach. Take them to the deal in Washington. All right. All well, right. Um, it's a difficult question. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Um, because um, those things are something that I probably want to explain in an entirely different video where I kind of tell people about myself because thus far I've been pretty um, secretive about my um, my personal life in my videos because I see no reason to share them yet yeah you um, don't have to answer these questions or truthfully well I can answer one of the most defining uh, points of my life well that was literally the question man uh, yeah but you know you asked the what question the five minutes ago Twice. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> um, when I was born, I guess. That, yeah. I can see how that is one of your most defining moments in life. Yeah. So no, actually, um, the, day, um, the day I moved back to my hometown after I've been living uh, far away from my hometown for a very, very long time. And that was a very defining moment of my life because I went back to my family and my friends. All right, yeah, that 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 makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah. Um, all right. And so we're moving on. What book has influenced you the most? Um, I don't read books. But I'd well, say uh, Harry Potter because um, I actually listened to the audiobooks for that. For me, probably the dictionary, seeing as it helped me read other books. Dang. It's kind of like my Bible of books. So, so yeah. 
Um, what was your dream job growing up? Hmm, growing up, um, that's a difficult question because growing up, I um, I just wanted to relax and not do shit. Um, okay. That... Well, actually, I actually um, wanted to be an um, either an astronaut or astrophysicist. All right. What the fuck? Well, that's hard work. Yeah, but I didn't know back then. You hit the was fan a... too hard. The drugs have gone <laughs> everywhere. There's more in this dude than in a bag. If you Quit could know the absolute and the total on truth to one question, waiting. what question would you ask? What? If you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Hmm. Shit, that's a difficult question. <laughs> um, the, um, the answer to that question you just asked, I guess. No. Um. <laughs> what the fuck is this on your screen? Um, yeah, the, the mission Purple Haze, um, you uh, oh, get knocked out and yeah, you are uh, dizzy. Um, but. Um, we got hit. The drugs. I don't know. They're gone. Actually, uh, are you fucking with me? Well, is there no, life on other planets? It's a, it's a question you? that I'm very. Um, are you high on my shit? No. Very. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Curious about. I must have been breathing it in while I was out cold. I want my drugs back. Well. I still have a buyer who might be interested. Yeah, that makes sense. Soon, now, my, my question my would probably be the if oh, there's ever going to be a Half Life 3. Hmm? Hmm? Can you repeat that? My question is going to be if there's ever going to be a Half Life 3. <laughs> oh, yeah, while you're in right. this state, you can't drive shit. Well, you can't drive shit uh, anyway, so. Man, fuck you. Remember who beat you in GTA 3? Yeah, that was that was then. This is now. Yeah. One week later. Although I'm not sure in which uh, order you're gonna upload it, so <laughs> whatever. Um, the last question: Why did you choose your profession? These aren't that interesting, to be honest. Why I chose my profession? What profession? Yeah. I don't have a profession yet. I'm still uh, going to school. All right, I've got a better question. I've got, I got, I got a lot of different. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? So, uh, like, like if I was going to guess my age based on the way I act and the way I look, is that what you mean? I guess. Um. I would probably say 17 or something, but it's kind of weird because like I, I feel like I have the mind of an adult, but <coughs> I choose to act childish. Um, if you if you understand what I mean by that. Yeah, I understand. I I have it the other way around. <laughs> you uh, are Which... childish, but you choose to act uh, mature. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've got something else from uh, www.riddles.fyi. That sounds like a um, page you can uh, trust. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. Um, um, all right. Railroad crossing. Watch out for the cars. How do you spell that without any R's? Look, I have a hard time enough um, focusing on this. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed yeah. to answer that? Just, uh, I don't know. How do you spell that without any R's? You don't spell it with R's. Simple. T H A T. That. How do you spell that without any R's? T H A T. Yeah. 
There's a joke similar to that in, uh, in Denmark. Sorry, I'm a bit slow right now because um, I'm focusing on this. I understood the joke, um, but it's really fun hard to drive this car, and I have a two-star one level. So yeah, that's okay. I know it's just, uh, it's underwhelming. I know. I'll just keep bothering you. Yeah. Please do that. There is a dog on one side of the lake and a woman on the other. The woman calls the dog over and when he gets there, he is not wet at all. How is this possible? He ran, he ran around the lake? No, I... Well, that actually could work too. This isn't a very good riddle. Apparently the, the lake is frozen. Wow. Wow. All right, all right, all right. When I'm first said, I'm quite mysterious. But when I'm explained, I'm nothing serious. What am I? What? When I'm first said, I'm quite mysterious. But when I'm explained, I'm nothing serious. What am I? I don't know. Well, at that least you managed to question. retrieve my merchandise. A riddle. But I think, for our friendship, this is the end. Adios. Get it? Can you repeat that? A riddle. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look, I was listening to uh, Gonzalez because he's being an asshole. He was like, oh, we're not friends anymore. Well, fuck you, bitch. Move your bitch ass. <laughs> okay, now that I'm not on a mission and I am going to turn down my sound, maybe I can actually focus on the next question. All right. Um... All right, the person who made it never uses it, and the person who uses it never saw it. What is it? Uh... Man, I'm not good with those riddles, man. The person who made it didn't use it. Yeah. And the person who used it didn't see it. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know, um, that's a very difficult question, I don't know. A casket. A casket. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what that is, I'm not that good at English. It's a, a thing you put dead bodies in a wooden box when they get buried. Ah, all right. Well, I am used to the word coffin, but okay. Oh yeah, a coffin. It's the same thing. I don't. I don't speak that um, that British English, mate. <laughs> All right, so you know what mission is next? Well, that was totally scary. what? Well, I was figuring that um, the final uh, mission for this episode could yeah. be Kill Phil Part Two. And it's on the radio too, right? Yeah. Darling, do you not feel a special connection between us? A certain oh, cool. No, and I'll be honest with you, you're not really my type. Barry, is everything sorted for tonight? Mate, seriously, of course it's bloody sorted. You're going to blow them away. Mm. Well, I'm more worried about someone blowing me away. Oh, the talk of blowing. Oh, listen, sweetheart, please take out your many frustrations on Barry, will you, and leave me alone. Barry? I've had Barry. Everyone has. Do what? I like a challenge. Phil is joking. Barry? Mm. Listen, Phil. <laughs> oh, Stop taking the mic. Yeah. Last year in Monaco. What? Too much champagne. No, there wasn't. Too much love in the air. No, there wasn't. You better shoot it. It's lies, Phil. But it was beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Barry, we're safe, right? Safe? The best security geezer in town has just turned up. Would I lie to you, kid? Yes, actually. All the time. Well, this time I'm not. Vic, would I lie to you? Probably. No. We'd better go to wardrobe. 
Vic, do us a favor. Go check the concert hall, is clear. Mr. Superstar Soppy Bollocks here is going all showbiz on me. Sure. Hey, I wasn't the one finding true love in Monaco. Oh, shut it till you'll be finding a new manager. Hey, don't tempt me. I just love those two. <laughs> they are delicious. Hmm. Renee is pretty um special. Well, so is Barry. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's do this. And man, this episode is all over the place, huh? It's mostly yeah. you talking and me not hearing half of the things you say because I'm um, I'm focusing on the missions and I'm not even explaining the missions I'm doing or we're not even talking about the game. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to redo the episode uh, without me, I'll, I won't be. Insulted. Nah, it's fine. At this point, um, I'm. And I'm gonna be honest, I pretty much just want to finish this game. <laughs> Go on to the next <laughs> one, which I actually know better, so I can explain better. You know? Which is that? And I can play which better. Are, which game? Which is, is um, Vice City, the original. Ah. I'm gonna play these games in a chron chronological order, which means I'm gonna play them in the order of which year they take place in. Yeah. So Vice City Stories, Vice City, um, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, and GTA 3. Alright. After that, I'm gonna play them in the order they were released because that makes the more sense with uh, the HD GTA games. Mm hmm. Because there's also mostly um, chronological order. I really like how uh, how um, the first game they made, GTA 3, in the 3D universe, is the last game chronologically, and the last game they made, which is this one, Vice City Stories, is the first game chronologically. Yeah, I like that. Right, so we are at the um, um, conveniently named Hyman um, Stadium. All right, I'll shut up. I don't think the concerts yet, but don't put me that. Oh shit! Shit, I remember this mission. Um, actually, I was mistaken. I was quite mistaken. The um, the concert is not yet. Oh, the concert is not until. How can I forget this shit? Like, like I said, this this episode is all over the place and it's very um unprofessional because um, the concert mission is the mission called in the air tonight. Yeah. Oh. Like the, like the song. Um, which I've forgotten because I'm stupid and I haven't played this game in a very long time. So I'm sorry if, uh, if uh, any um, of the audience were uh, anticipating for this mission. Uh, I was. But um, I am going to, um, at the point where I say this is the mission where he plays the concert, yeah. I'm just going to put on the text saying that that's not true. We've done it now, man. They're all going to unsubscribe because of this. Yeah, and the fa the first thing is, um, as of right now when I'm um, recording this, I have exactly 99 subscribers, which means one subscriber and I will have 100. So oh, it man. would just be so convenient if my subscriber count just starts going down right before I have 100. Yeah. And well, my dreams of reaching 100 is just gonna be broken. Maybe you can pay some people. Yeah. Ask if uh, you know, I'll do it. For some money. Um, is this how stadiums work? Do they really put up these defalcings just to set up a stage? Yep. Damn. Yes. Oh, you should know because you work with that shit. <laughs> yeah, I've actually. Uh, I can. I can show you sometime if. You, uh, I've. I've actually made a, a time lapse of it being set up. I mean, it's a weird question to ask, but it's something that I'm very curious about. In the GTA games, like I've always wondered if the um, construction sites are actually realistic, if they actually look like what construction sites look like in real life, because I live in a country where construction sites are very are a very rare thing, and once they're there, it's not even like skyscrapers. So, really, they don't build things in Denmark. They do, but very rarely, and even more rarely, it's gonna be skyscrapers. So. Hmm. Like the tallest building in Denmark is like 90 meters. It's not a lot. Damn. 
And damn, I remember when I played this mission like 10 years ago when I was a kid, I I died before I was even halfway to the point where I am right now. Right now, I'm playing this and I haven't even lost my armor yet. <laughs> but maybe that's because I have um, double armor and double health thanks to completing the paramedic missions and the um, and the uh, vigilante missions. Maybe it's because you're a fucking pro. Well, like I said, in on the console uh, exclusive GTA games, I am everything but a pro. I f really suck at these games. I'm ending this situation. He's mine. I think the only reason why I'm alive is because I have double uh, health and armor. <laughs> What? What? No what? time? Wait, don't tell me I'm gonna fail the mission. Man. What? He what? He suck <laughs> a cock. Suck a cock. I didn't even pay attention to the timing. Like, okay, so I remember now why I kept failing the timer and the, and the fact that I kept dying. I didn't pay attention that there was a timer on this. Let's go back. Try again. And on the way there, um, you can ask me some questions if you want. Actually, uh, wait. I do have some questions. And I will also open a monster energy drink. Because I can. Bitch, I'm a monster, no good blood sucker. <sighs> Alright. Very professional episode. <laughs> it never is when I'm on it. Well,. On one, uh, on uh, like, for one thing, it's probably not a good thing. But on the other hand, it's pretty nice because it means it's a relaxing episode, and maybe some people look for exactly that a, a relaxing episode. That's not necessarily gonna be all professional and shit, but just yeah, people yeah, enjoying that's... playing a game, you know, and having fun. We can only hope. Like, um, like, like we discussed before. Like, I think my videos are very good for background noise, you know. Like yeah. if you people don't want to watch me play the game, they can just watch me having a conversation with either myself or or you. Yeah, it's, Maybe, it's um, nice when you're lonely to put up some sounds or some silly. Yeah. Nuggets. Um, well, I do. Um, uh, like when I um, do episodes on my own, if something comical happens, like if there's a glitch or something in the game, I put in some funny um, sound effects and shit. Um, Man, but, you're a wild egg. But maybe, uh, maybe I should have some um, more um, guests on my uh, Let's Plays. Yeah. Sometimes. Maybe on um, like important episodes. Like the final episode or an episode where there's going to be an important mission or something. I can have a guest. Yeah, sure. This is not very uh, really important uh, episode. The missions here are pretty average. I'd say, you know, yeah. it's just your average gym. Go collect the coke and... That's and, why I'm and here. suck my cock and, um, you know, make sure like that. I don't know why this game doesn't have a um, cock-sucking minigame. Don't you would it. want to do that? No. I'm just being sarcastic. Well, no, it's, it's alright. I mean... Yeah, yeah, everyone has their preference. Well, what about an eating minigame? Like, like DJ and Andres had eating, you know, but why not take it further? Why not having to sit down on a table and eat the food? And you have to tap a button, and if you tap it too fast, you're gonna die because from a heart attack because you eat the food too, um, um, too fast. And if you tap it too slowly, well, you're gonna die from hunger. You spent a long time working this idea out, didn't you? Yeah, it like years of, uh, of thinking. Yeah, I can see it. It it pays off. Mm. Wait, I didn't even notice there's there's a bike here. <laughs> Man, I can just take this, bitch. I'm gonna come for you, bitch. Watch this. I'm just gonna drive by them all. Get him. Hey, come here. 
There we go. I told you. I was going to drive by them all. Man, those guys, like they're, what What are they, hitmen? And they well, get killed by some dude in a white suit on a bike. Well, they look like hitmen. They're, they're bald. <laughs> Man, if, they, if I was trying to drive by them 10 years ago, I would be dead on the ground right in the fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> I, right now, I don't even understand why I would die back then because this mission is fucking easy actually. Like, it's just killing people, like, in every other mission. Is there another bicycle? Or. I think I'm ahead of time now enough to die that I don't need the bike. Hopefully. And don't. Don't get too cocky, kid. Great, kid, don't get cocky. I'm not going to waste time picking up that armor. By the way, by the way, do you hear that noise in my Oh, good. It's my hamster. Ah, all right. So, maybe I have enough time now. Well, I should because the marker is right there and it was that before as well. I don't even get why. How could I fail that mission, mate? This is easy. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, this is gonna be difficult, I think. There's. Oh, that's okay, you can do it. Okay, I have to kill him before he arrives again. Damn. Come on! Take him! That was easy. <laughs> See? Like, I'm standing in the middle of a fucking crossfire, I'm not even dead yet. There we go. It's Vic, see? I told you, nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you inside. Seriously, mate, is everything all right? Sure, but um, you might want to call bomb disposal. Bomb disposal? All oh, right, yeah, yeah, good one, yeah, yeah, fucking comedian. Yeah, yeah, I should put you on the fucking stage, huh? Phil, mate, uh, maybe we should delay rehearsals a while, eh? Like? Technical issues, you know, nothing serious, it's all right. Man, what the fuck? Looks like we are left with nothing but Lance missions right now, but that will have to wait for the next episode. Lance fans! Um, ooh, Ricardo Diaz. We get to do missions for him now? Hmm, that's gonna be nice. I loved him in, um, in uh, Vice City. He's voiced by um, Luis Guzman, Louis I think. Guzman. Uh, Louis or Luis. I forget if it's um, a silent uh, S, but you know. Louis Guzman. You should see if you can get him on a, him as a guest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's ask him. Hey, you wanna hey. be a guest in a game you were in for like twelve years ago? That should be interesting. Yeah. Okay. It'll um, be okay. What is this? You are standing on something. Um, a fine new addition to our great city that will uh, that will all. That we are, that we've all grown to love, man. I, did, I couldn't see if it was a we are or, or we, uh, we will or whatever. We have. I mean, have you found the eleven Easter eggs? Oh yeah, yeah, the eleven Easter eggs. Those are um, smileys that have been painted that have been graffitied around the um, the map. But are I haven't showed you guys because they're not required for one hundred. 
um, percent completion. Um, but around the uh, in the Vice City map, um, there are um, some graffitis of um, a smileys and stuff. I can actually show you one of them before I finish this episode because yeah. I know the location of one. Show us. See that that's the inner um, um, GTA expert in me. Like I might not be good <laughs> at um, Vice City stories when it comes to gameplay, but you know I really enjoy the story of Vice City stories and the um, you know um, and how they actually managed to keep a lot of the gameplay elements from the old GTA games, considering that this was made for PSP. Yeah. Um, there are just some things with this game that that I just don't have the patience to live with and it's either because um, it the controls and the gameplay is bad or maybe it's just because I've grown used to playing PC games so going back to playing console games it's very difficult for me yeah I know what you mean I've never played a console game in my life actually that's not true I've played some of them on, on emulators this one being one of them and I mean, what is playing, really? If you, like, play it once at a friend's house, does, does, does that count as, hmm. you know? I mean, when I was a child, I, I played nothing but um, console games. I played the N64. Um, hmm. I played a lot of Mario Kart and Super Mario 64 and shit. I'm probably going to um, do a let's play of that at one point. Um, I've, never, I've never had a console. That's a thing. And um, it wasn't until I was, like... It wasn't until like 2008 or something I started playing PC games. That was when I um, got into um, playing San Andreas multiplayer. Um, yeah. Because I used like I originally played um, Jesus San Andreas uh, on on the PlayStation, and I played it there for hours and hours. Like most of my playing time for San Andreas is probably on PlayStation 2 because from when it came out in 2004. To, to till when I got a copy of San Andreas for PC in like 2008 or 9 like I've just spent every day at least every day on um, on GTA San Andreas yeah man I know what you mean I've been there back when when we were still doing GTA a lot San Andreas multiplayer man yeah that was that was life yeah Shit, we had so many parties on there. Yeah, good times. I never got to be a part of. Um, well, I think I was in one or two episodes of your um, MythBusters series, which um, for you guys that don't know, um, um, me and um, and Rollo, we have some history, quite some history, in fact. Okay. Um, I, I knew him before he knew me. I know that's kind of creepy, but that's <laughs> because. Um, before I even um, met him, I was watching some YouTube videos um, because back in 2008, I really wanted to start playing GTA um, San Andreas multiplayer, but I was such a noob, I didn't know how to install it. So instead of playing it, I was just watching SAMP videos instead. And I started watching um, this series called GTA Mythbusters um, that was filmed with San Andreas multiplayer, which just made me want to play multiplayer even more. And um, and I grew to really enjoy this um, this series, this um, online series. Um, and when I finally got around to um, finding out how to play San Andreas multiplayer, I remember asking for um, the IP for uh, Rollo's um, server on SAMP uh, so I could join them. Um, Rollo didn't answer me, but one of his friends did um, send me an IP address. Um, with uh, I don't know if it was with or without your permission. <laughs> so. uh, I I don't I think I I wasn't too uh, difficult that shit. So probably yeah. But then um, again, I wouldn't know. I don't remember him. That person asking. I don't even remember who it was. No, um, I think I remember. But um, I joined, and I remember fangirling a lot. And I think I remember you thinking that I was pretty annoying at the beginning. Like you were just like, well, yeah. just let me be here, but but you were only being nice and shit, you know. Um, and well, I don't know. We uh, we did some shit together for a little while. I was in one or two episodes of um, Myth 
Busters. And then I don't know if something happened then we didn't talk for quite some time. Life happened. Yeah, life happened. And then I found out that, yeah, well, I was looking at your channel because I found it was, it's been quite a while and I was uh, looking into your channel to see if you have uh, uploaded anything new and I saw that you have um, actually uploaded a video from GTA um, 5 online and you also put in your gamer tag for that so I added you on GTA online or Rockstar um, social club and mm -hmm. we started talking there and and what now we're here I guess fast forward yeah, like five years <laughs> already or four four years already damn time goes fast man I guess yeah. already uh, over a year ago that um, I was visiting you in in the Netherlands. <clears throat> Man, I remember when I when I first started here. <laughs> I came here with a thousand dollar check that I couldn't cash at the bank. Hmm. What do you mean? Anyway, I started working at a hotel. I see this beautiful girl. <laughs> what the hell? I can't seem to find that um that thing. I think it's inside this ship, if I'm not mistaken. I have to actually swim inside of it or something. How is that? Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Okay, I was joking. There really is nothing to see here. Go and look in the Vice City news building instead oh all right Ooh. um was that an o or was that a yawn both i found a way to combine them <laughs> all right well um that took some time it was here i was here before but um i forgot that i had to f for some somehow clip inside of the um of the um boat but there's one last thing i need to show you guys um, in the original GTA Vice City, there is a um, building where you uh, where there's a window you can actually jump through. And when you jump through that window, you find a literal Easter egg that says Happy Easter. Nice. Well, you can actually find it in Vice City Stories as well. That makes sense, it being the same map. Yeah. Like also in um, in uh, there's also an Easter egg in GTA 3, where there's a supposedly inaccessible area of the map. But if you access it, there's gonna be a sign that says you're not supposed to be here, are you? <laughs> um, and in Liberty City Stories, if you go to that same area, the same the sign is still gonna be there, but it's gonna be saying something like you're really obsessed with this with this area, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, I like how Rockstar does that. And yeah. Put those little Easter eggs in that. Like the one uh, in GK San Andreas where it's like up on that bridge. Yeah, there are no Easter eggs here. Go away. <laughs> like that in itself is an Easter egg, so there's a paradox. Yeah. Um, so we have to go inside this building here. And there should be a helicopter up here. And a helipad, of course, that the helipad copter is on well it's only the helipad for some reason and it's that big window right there you can jump inside all right well let's see how you do this yeah I failed well done <laughs> you may applause at least you got strong bones yeah I, I can survive big falls let me try that again maybe it was the wrong window I like how I actually know a lot about GTA, but as soon as I'm filming, it seems like I don't know nothing. I don't know shit. Yeah, they're not gonna believe that. Okay, so <laughs> it's probably that small window then. Yeah, it is. So, um, yeah, this is take on a construction. Nice. I like. <laughs> and then there's that smiley again. <laughs> I'll, I'll, one on my face right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll just love how Rockstar Games is like, this, it, like, what the hell? Why? 
Why? What? Like, they have a fucking crane in here building an easter egg. <laughs> well, at least they're thorough. Well, um, there are many things that I can show you in Vice City Stories, but it's gonna take all day. So I'm just gonna end up this episode with a very beautiful view over Vice City Beach. And wish you guys nice. a uh, very good day and hope you enjoyed this lengthy, boring slash kind of yeah. interesting episode. With uh, a... Who are we kidding? No one is actually still watching at this point. Well, if you have watched until this point, please um, comment uh, in below Bitch Lasagna. That way I Bitch know lasagna. that you have watched um, till this point. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode of By City Stories or GTA 3 or whatever I am making. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, see you guys and have a nice day. Bye.